Hi friends, welcome to GMK tutorials. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion on differential amplifiers can be designed with the help of a MOSFET. Now, what is the use of current mirror in differential amplifier? Basically, current mirror's purpose is nothing but which is used to maintain a constant current in the circuit. So, I think all of you have some basic idea, right? So, already we discussed uh, about the current mirror circuits also. Okay. So, in case of the differential amplifier, differential amplifier, there is a certain cases are there like RD1, RD2 are the constant currents at the same time, RT is also a constant current. So, in this situation, we will use the differential amplifiers, right? So, in this situation, we can use the current mirror circuits for the analysis point also. Uh, so this is a basic diagram for this one. So this is a current mirror diagram where we are using the current mirror in this circuit. So that is the basic importance, right? So for that purpose, let us see here. This is a general representation of a differential amplifier. Differential amplifier. So here the current mirror in differential amplifier. Current mirror in a differential amplifier. So here basically. In case of the differential amplifier, where RT is generally called a tail resistor. RT is generally called a tail resistor. So the tail resistor purpose is nothing but if you are increasing the RT value, obviously RT value is increases. Common mode rate CM is decreases. Okay. So for that purpose, instead of if you are using RT, if you are using a current mirror circuit, obviously we can achieve the uh, very good response compared to the RT value. So, for that purpose, we are using a current mirror circuits in this case. Okay. So, current mirror circuits in this case. So, for that purpose, let us see here. Let us see here. So, the basic diagram is as usual same. So, uh, previous diagram to all are same, but only variation is nothing but RT resistance. That is nothing but tail resistance is replaced with a current mirror circuit. Okay, this is a part of a current mirror circuit. This current mirror circuit is placed instead of RT. Okay, so here M4 and M3 resistors are M4 and M3 are identical. So, identical mass, identical MOSFET. Therefore, the currents as well as in case of due to the I reference value, this current is also same. Okay, this current is nothing but, suppose uh, this is nothing but ID3. So, ID3 is equal to, ID3 is the producer due to the corresponding I reference. Okay, I reference is the current that is uh, passing through the M4 resistance. Due to that I reference, the current ID3 is equal to, to equal. Okay, ID3 current and the I reference are both are same. Suppose if you are, uh, where VDD is equal to, from this equation, VDD, that is nothing but supply voltage, VDD is equal to, obviously what happened, VDD is equal to voltage drop across this one, and this voltage, that gives us the complete VDD. So, for that purpose, let us see here, let us see here, VDD is equal to, VDD is equal to, I reference voltage drop across this one, plus VGSO, that is nothing but, gate to source voltage across the M4 transistor, okay. So, therefore, from this I reference is equal to obviously IDS4. So, whatever the current is there, I reference, that current is equal to the current passing through the uh, fourth resistance. Okay. I reference is equal to, this current is equal to obviously this uh, drain, drain to source resistance. Therefore, I reference is equal to IDS4. At the same time, that is equal to K4 by K into W4 by L by 4, there is nothing but aspect ratio of the corresponding fourth transistor into VSGS4, that means gate to source voltage of the fourth resistor minus cutting voltage of the corresponding transistor into whole square. So, I will left out all the remaining parts, so whatever the, that is nothing but non-linear parts. So, from this, IDS3 is equal to, this current IDS3 is equal to I reference, due to the I reference into aspect ratio, that is nothing but W3 by L3, that means the, the W by L ratio of Third resistor divided by W by L by 3 ratio of the fourth resistor into 1 plus lambda into VDS3 minus VDS3. So that means drain to source voltage minus the difference between these two 
drain voltage, drain to source voltages. Okay, so if we consider this one, obviously this part is obviously approximately equal to one. Therefore, this for the drain to source current in the third resistance is equal to I reference into W by three. W by L ratio of the third transistor divided by fourth transistor. Suppose if you are taking M4 and M3 are W W3 is equal to W4 at the same time L3 is equal to L4. Obviously this part is also equal to unity. Therefore at that time obviously third resistor that is nothing but drain to source current in the third resistor is exactly equal to the I reference current. Okay, so therefore we can achieve the High common mode gain is also very high. Common mode it can be reduced with the help of a current mirror circuit. That is the purpose of a current mirror. Okay. So this is nothing but a current mirror in a differential amplifier using a MOSFET. Okay, that will be discussed in the next video.